Hi guys, um, back again. Uh, it's been a month or so, I think, since my last last video. Um, so I picked up a few things, um, and uh, this is this is them. Uh, it's a kind of a very mixed bag. Um, some old, some new, some mint, some pretty pretty worn out. But uh, anyway, uh, first thing I got was um, this. Now, actually, I have this already um, as part of a box set. Um, this is the Flaming Lips, um, Once Beyond Hopelessness, um, Christmas on Mars. Uh, the soundtrack to the film of Christmas on Mars, but this one um, is the limited one that came with a DVD of the film and a bonus 7 inch um, which the box set version didn't have uh, and I got this pretty cheap um, I discovered a seller in uh, in Holland I think it is um, and I got this for about 12, maybe 15 pounds delivered, so you can't can't complain with that. Um, this was in a haul of uh, the records I got. Um, first Black Sabbath album, which I've wanted for a, a long time. I think this is probably my favourite Black Sabbath album. Um, it's pretty worn and that somebody's obviously had their name written on the cover at some point. Um, but the good thing about it is it is on the Vertigo Swirl label. Um, again, you can see where somebody's name has been on it. And it's the large swirl as well. It's not a true first pressing, but it is. I think it would still be classed as a first press. Um, certainly very early um, so I was delighted to have this because the wizard is and um, what's the other track on here that's great uh, oh, I can't remember now uh, but yeah I was glad to have this because the wizard is just uh, brilliant and that cover covers fantastic as well um, so Everyone likes a bit of early Black Sabbath. Um, I picked this up. Um, the Angry Muse. This is protest songs um, by uh, Ewan McColl and Peggy Seeger. Now, the stuff, I'm not so keen on the Ewan McColl stuff on this, but the Peggy Seeger stuff's brilliant. Um, and one track in particular, uh, this one, the first track on side two, um, the clan song, um, it's just phenomenal. Um, and this was on Argo. Uh, if you like protest songs, folk music, um, then I can highly recommend this. This is really good. Um, and you can probably pick this up relatively cheaply as well. Um, this was in the same bundle of records that I bought that the Black Sabbath was in. Um, this is Emmett Rhodes, his uh, album on Probe. This is pretty good. Um, cool in the sleeve. I mean uh, in a gatefold. Um, it wasn't quite as good as maybe reviews had led me to believe it was going to be, um, but still pretty solid. Um, and this is on the pink, pink probe label. Um, but yeah, pretty cool album. Um, it will certainly get played again. Um, but whether I keep hold of it in the long term, I'm not sure. Probably. 
again this was another one that was in that that bundle this is um, bird on Y by Tim Hardin um, this was pretty good uh, but again it wasn't in the greatest of condition um, it's uh, it's pretty scratched um, and it was on uh, CVS um, again this is a first press oh that reminds me actually the Emmett Rhodes um, I don't know whether this will show up um, has got Some of the coolest engravings in a running out groove that I've ever seen. Um, stupid to run the same on um, the same on the second side, but I'm going to have to work with it. But anyway. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, cool little feature. Um, this was a great find. Um, I can't remember if this was in the same bundle or not because I bought two lots relatively close to each other. Um, this is uh, Scratching the Surface by the Groundhogs. Uh, one of my favourite of that kind of British blues explosion. Um, they did some cracking, cracking stuff. If you don't know the Groundhogs, um, they're well worth checking out. Uh, one of my favourite tracks is um, "Light a Light." It's not, not on this. Um, it's on one of their other albums, but um, yeah, there's loads of their stuff on YouTube. Um, but yeah, this was really cool. In, in really good nick as well. Um, lovely, fully laminated sleeve. Um, which always clean up really nicely. Um, the disc itself was absolutely filthy. Um, as you can see, if you have a look at the label there, you can see how badly damaged the label is. Um, with kind of like some kind of mould um, and the disc was filthy um, but I've cleaned it up and it's uh, there's barely a mark on it um, and it plays plays really really well now um, so I always say with records you can clean off you can clean off dirt but you can't clean off scratches so just because something's dirty doesn't necessarily mean that it's not worth buying. I think a lot of people, had they seen this, would have probably run a mile from it. Um, but with a bit of effort, it's uh, it's turned up turned up to be pretty good. Um, these next two I found in um, the local Red Cross shop, um, in amongst a load of classical records. Um, that I just had to I had to kind of grab. Um, I've got two by Chubby Checker. Um, this is I Miss You So. Um, original pressing on London. Um, a little bit of damage up on this corner here. Um, but again, you know, this is the kind of music that you just don't really find because most of them got played to death or got played on terrible terrible record players um, and are knackered uh, but these are both really clean um, I think they're from the early 60s 61 where's this one uh, yeah from 61 I think this one is 60 or 61 um, and again another one I haven't actually listened to this one yet um, this is let the four winds blow um, but again this is same original London pressing um, but again really clean um, both monos 
and again this is on that lovely purple London label um, so they're cool kind of interesting things not necessarily what I always kind of listen to but I listened to a I think it was a Sunday night. I listened to one of those Fats Domino, and it just it just fitted perfectly. It wasn't it wasn't his uh, it wasn't necessarily what you think of when you think of Fats Domino. It was a bit more relaxed and just kind of good good music, good music. Um, if anyone watched my last video, you'll remember I picked up that Aardvark album, which has got me on a bit of a Derham Nova thing. It's the only one I've got on Derham Nova, um, or was, I should say, the only one I've got on Derham Nova. Um, so I was looking through, and there's one that you can get really easily, but it doesn't. It isn't officially on the Derham Nova label, although it kind of is. Um, is this one? Now this is a classical um, piece um, called "Make Music for the." To the Lord, um, new masses and songs by Father Philip Gaysford, um, and the choir of the Worth School and the Lorry Steel Combo. Um, this is it's kind of terrible, but it's one of those ones that there's a couple of tracks in it where they have um, masses sung to a kind of. I don't know, it's hard to describe it. They kind of try and jazz them off a bit, um, which sounds horrendous, and it kind of is horrendous. But I think this would this is the kind of record that would almost be a sampler's dream because some of the some of the samples and things that are in it. Um, but anyway, this is... Um, uh, I don't know if it's... This is CS, SND, was it 23? So that's... Uh, S for stereo, um, DN for Derham Nova, and 23. Although it doesn't actually state that it's on Derham Nova anywhere, um, it is one of those. There was Deca Nova, Derham Nova, and um, sometimes just Derham or Deca albums released with the same catalogue number sequence um, and this is one of the kind of peculiarities of that um, so it is part of the um, the Nova the Nova series although it doesn't actually say it anywhere but I mean you can get this for a few quid um, so I've just got it as a curiosity as much as uh, for the music that it contains um, and finally an album that I've wanted for a while. Um, I watched a really interesting documentary about it, um, and this um, is always the album that kind of jumps out at me as the one that I want to get. Um, I've had a compilation, like a best of the CD, on CD for a while. Um, and I took it out with me when I was delivering mail in a van one day and uh, I listened to several tracks on repeat and it turns out they were on on this album. Um, so this is Buffy St. Marie uh, Illuminations. This isn't like really like any of our other albums. Um, and uh, this is it's just really good. Um, especially uh, this track here um, with Halloween coming up um, this track The Vampire is is uh, phenomenal um, so if anyone's looking for some Halloween tunes I can highly recommend uh, The Vampire by Buffy St. Marie um, and this is an original UK press on Vanguard um, the gold gold vanguard label so that's it really um coming up for 15 minutes so i'd better stop because that's plenty long enough um as always love to hear your comments um hello to everyone and uh, take care <laughs>